I am three weeks away from going no contact with my abuser. I can't use the grey rock method because it triggers narcissistic rage. A close friend of mine told me that she provides her abuser with small amounts of admiration to, redu to reduce the amount of abuse she is experiencing and told me it has worked. Are there any other sneaky techniques like this that I can try? <laughs> yeah, there definitely are. Um, I, I think... I'd like to address the first part of your question first, though, which is uh, that saying that grey rock doesn't work. Um, so I'm just wondering what your definition of grey rock is, if it's triggering rage. Um, it doesn't take much to trigger rage uh, in narcissists, especially if they already sense that you're withdrawing from them, which they will. So if they're raging when you're polite, factual, and neutral, then you've got a particularly malignant narcissist on your hands there. Uh, your friend's advice about lavishing praise and admiration is a good sneaky way to take the narcissist's focus off what you're doing and put it back onto themselves, which is a place they far prefer to be. They'll take as many compliments and ego stroking as you can possibly give them. And unlike other people, they probably won't notice that that's what you're doing and get suspicious. Giving praise to a narcissist is like feeding a hungry ghost. They are a bottomless pit of greed for praise and admiration and their mouths will always stay open for more. So if you have to take, um, have to be around this person before you go, no contact, then take every opportunity you can to make things like conversation, watching the television, social media posts, all that sort of stuff, any interaction, all about them. Get in before they do. So I'd suggest the rage is about losing control over you and the very sight of you or anything to do with you is going to trigger it stay away from them as much as you can leading up to the no contact date and make sure you have a good exit strategy for the big day thank you a follow-up question can you see any like danger in giving these small amounts of admiration or any risks in that uh, in my experience, no, I, I can't imagine that there's any risk in it at all. As I said before, uh, it's likely, you know, if you were buttering up with praise and admiration, a normal person, they might suddenly sort of go, what do you want? You know, why are you doing this? But a narcissist is unlikely to notice because they think they deserve it and they just can't get enough of it. So. In my opinion, it's a low risk manipulation strategy to use against narcissistic rage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I was, I was thinking myself that like, what if like when you give those small bits of admiration that you should try to be as sincere as possible, just to make sure that they don't, you know, mm, figure out that hey you are not that sincere or especially what i have heard about vulnerable narcissists that they might find any any negativity in what you are trying to give them in the form of admiration and then they like might be able to create a confrontation about it and then it's again you yeah. like it can lead to that rage very quickly or something yeah, like that i can but... see your point i can see your point and yeah, uh, I mean, um, maybe if, if Juliana, if you've heard of that happening with narcissists, I can, I can imagine it happening with uh, neurotypical people. Um, but if you're dealing with a narcissist that is already extremely paranoid about the way in which people interact with them, I guess there could be a risk there. So it, like with every answer to any of these questions, it does depend on the individual narcissist. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking of, um, in particular, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of my lived experience with a grandiose narcissist. And in that instance, um, 
yeah he, he he for 30 years i was involved with this person sort of managing this person with gray rock and uh, he never noticed never noticed mm. if you were being ironic or sarcastic or anything like that as long as there's no sarcastic tone in your voice mm. as long mm. as it appears genuine um yeah okay i mean yeah the and the answer is you know you must resist anything that sounds mocking you must resist mocking them or or irony or paradox but they're likely to miss irony or paradox or you know or sarcasm in what you're saying because they'll just hear the words of praise mm. 